first things first, we've got this interesting topic or story here from BBC. It says, restaurants struggle to find staff ahead of reopening. Interesting, right? They're struggling to find staff. You would never have guessed it, right? So it says here, bars and restaurants are struggling to recruit enough staff and some may not be able to fully reopen in May after thousands of workers left the sector. Because, of course, that's when May 17th is when all the restaurants can start seeing people indoors. And I'd imagine a lot of restaurants just can't accommodate for people sitting outside. So they're going to be able to make the majority of their money back and get back on their feet when they reopen indoors. It continues. Venue owners say that they're expecting huge demand from customers, but staff shortages mean they are they have a limit to opening hours. Figures suggest more than one in ten UK hospitality workers left the industry in the last year. Recruitment site Caterer.com said the pandemic and Brexit were to blame. Some have managed to find alternative for employment, but a high proportion may have left the UK altogether. The recruiter said, "Interesting, because you'd imagine a lot of the people that work in those sort of like service industry jobs, especially in restaurants, were going to be a lot of people who are kind of you know." Um, immigrants newly immigrated over to the uk wanting to get on your feet get some experience under your belt eventually maybe get citizenship or maybe use a restaurant work as a kind of leg up or a stepping stone and if you've got family back in europe and they're struggling you're not going to really stay here you know you're going to try and go back and help out as much as you can so a lot of that kind of workforce is probably left and of course most restaurants probably weren't able to kind of you know furlough or keep people on for a long period of time you know they, they, they were kind of hemorrhaging money it's been really really um it's been a proper bloodbath out right there when it comes to restaurants um it continues so although many hospitality workers were laid off during the last 12 months restaurants are now finding it hard to fill the spaces um celebrity chef michael Keynes is one of the ones uh finding recruitment difficult he operates two restaurants in cornish coast and a hotel in exmouth a beach bar and a restaurant in exmouth is also due to open he is currently trying to hire 20 new staff members across the group without question he said recruitment is a challenge all of the businesses are extremely busy for the next three or four months our hotel is completely booked up so we're desperately trying to recruit enough staff Mr. Kane said that Brexit and the pandemic have led to European workers leaving and not returning. But he said another problem is that the number of workers still on furlough. Very true. While we're waiting to return to work, there are less than willing to switch to employers. So while yeah, cool, um, he says that a lot of people are very concerned about having leaving a job where the quality where they qualify for furlough to take a new job where they don't qualify for furlough if there's another lockdown. So there's a bit of a nervousness from employers, employees, sorry, point of view. Mr. Kane is hoping um, the roles will be more easily filled when students break up for college, very true, and universities start looking for summer work. Restaurants and bars are allowed to serve food and drink outdoors since April 12th, while indoor is start expected to open on 17th of May, and many UK hospitality venues are opening pent-up demand and a more UK-focused holiday season to translate into bumper summer now the question that it comes for me is i wonder if this is a twofold issue of course i'm sure pandemic brexit has contributed a lot to people you know deciding to seek pastors new and obviously what that chef mentioned about people being on furlough and what job and not really being you know open to taking another job where there's no furlough in case there is another you know phantom you know surprise uh, outbreak and wave of covid in the next few months again no one wants to be caught you know left empty-handed and shit but a part of me thinks i wonder if a lot of the hesitation has to do with people just being on benefits and being on universal credit and stuff and getting money from the government because i'd imagine a lot of people outside of the ones that have been furloughed have been able to kind of support themselves in some way, shape or form. Don't get me wrong, I don't think you can get a lot of money from Universal Credit, but you can pretty much get something that can maybe help you contribute to your rent, whatever it may be, or to your overall cost. And if you're able to take out a couple of part-time roles here and there, maybe do some remote working, maybe work in a retail store here and there, you could probably get a buy and do okay. And then once the world reopens, you then decide to go back to doing your kind of vocation or what you're doing for a career. But I'd imagine those kind of people will probably, you know, even if you're working three times a week in a shopping centre somewhere, you're going to be enjoying the flexibility of being able to take your kids to school two days a week, rotate with your partner, um, you know, work part time in a service industry thing and get out of the house a little bit. So you've already kind of ticked all those boxes and you're getting some universal credit kind of into your account. So I wonder if a lot of people are just like, you know what, I've got a pretty sweet life now. I'm not going to I'm not willing to sort of like go back into the 
pits of you know employment fire right which is kind of working on the front lines in service industry you know especially restaurants uh, you know they've got some of the most tyrannical and awful you customers that you ever going to experience in those kind of places i've worked for a short period in a couple of bars and you know it really makes you question humanity when you work in those kind of places how rude and dis uh, you know and just disrespectful people can be when they want to have some sort of service especially when you're the one serving them drinks it's really boggles the mind but i wonder if some people are just being permanently put off from starting back normal employment because they're just being able to survive already as is on benefits they're not exactly spending much because the world hasn't reopened as per normal they're you know living quite frugal working a few hours here a week meeting their friends locally there's no real push to kind of get you out there and get you on the kind of rat race and get you on a grind again which might be a, again a net benefit overall because it did feel like people were going at 100 miles per hour all the time especially i mentioned before at the top of the show how i was right uh prior to covid i was kind of going 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 and you only have to kind of leave liverpool street station around you know anytime between four and six to see the kind of blood rushing you know um uh insistence people have with rushing back home and getting away from work and doing the other things that they want to do it's just like a go 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 mentality so maybe this is sort of like slow people down a bit and thought you know what i know what brings me joy i know what makes me fulfilled and it's not doing that kind of thing and until the world reopens up again it might not change but if it doesn't it might just be a permanent sort of change we might see in culture who knows who knows